Hello everybody, I am back. You guys probably haven't seen me for a few days and I have been having a good week. I um, weighed in on Friday at 147 pounds, which is about a three pound drop from my last week weigh-in. So kind of had a little whoosh in my weight loss, which is pretty much the highest weight loss that I've had in a week's time since I, you know, like, since I started getting closer to a year post-op. But I am getting closer and closer to that time of the month. And I, I can start, I, I'm actually feeling it right now. It's coming on. Um, and it's, it's, it's an emotional time for me. And I was actually debating on whether or not I would even make this video. But I promised you guys that I would share my life with you. So here I am. And I'm going to share with you my motivations for weight loss and how that's changed throughout this whole last year. So um, my motivation for weight loss when I first had surgery was so that I could keep up with my kids, so that I wouldn't be in pain all the time. And I've met that. So that's the thing. When you, when you reach a goal... You always look out, what's the next goal? What am I going to achieve next? Why I need to have a reason for doing what I'm doing. So when I reached that, that was actually quite quickly. Um, and once I got under 200 pounds, I was mobile again. I could keep up with my kids. You know, I felt great. I wasn't in back pain all the time. So what my next goal was, was so that I could feel confident enough to interview for a job. I went ahead and I did that. I actually got a job in my career field and I worked there for a bit um, until my husband deployed. But once I got the job, I had another goal and that was to possibly expand our family and we wanted to maybe have one more child. Now, if you've ever seen any of our family videos, you've known that we suffer from balance translocation. So it's very, very difficult for us to expand our family. Um, it involves either a lot of miscarriages or some some form of IVF. That was my next goal. Um, and then we got the news that my husband was leaving and he was deploying. And two weeks after he deployed, I tested positive for pregnancy and I was a hot, nervous wreck um, until I went in at seven weeks and I had an ultrasound. And this was right before my one year surgery anniversary. And I had an ultrasound, and the ultrasound looked good. Now, with balance translocations, um, all of our miscarriages, there have not been heartbeats present. So whenever we have had a heartbeat, we usually have a take-home baby. So when I saw that heartbeat at seven weeks, although I was nervous, I was still happy because there was a heartbeat. There was something there. And then a week later, I went back, and it was still there, and it was growing. So at this point, I was excited, and I was happy, and... Um, I felt that I could start investing my heart into this pregnancy and I started putting things on my Amazon registry, you know, I reopened that and they sent me this box that I have right here and it just has like a bunch of samples but this, this one item, this is the one item that I got that really was like, whoa, I'm going to be a mom again. Unfortunately, when I went back a week later, the baby had stopped growing and there was no heartbeat. So that was hard for me because I've been alone. So I've been dealing with this alone. And we've come to the decision that maybe, you know what, we're not going to have kids. And that that's hard. It's really hard because I have to find motivation I have to find another motivation to keep it going so it always goes back I have it, it goes back to my kids the kids that I have right now I don't want to fall back into being that mom that goes into emotional eating and regains all my weight because I want to still be present in my kid's life and although it's hard right now my motivation is to help other people it's my new motivation I know for a fact 
I didn't get to be 265 pounds because I just thought food tasted good. No, I used food as a crutch. I used food, um, I'm an emotional eater and it's, it's, I, I, I never thought that I would admit to that. I never thought that I would admit to the fact that I had a problem. But now looking back, yeah, I, I am an emotional eater and that tool's been taken away from me. So I've had to find another outlet for that. Luckily, it's not an unhealthy outlet. Um, I haven't started drinking or anything crazy like that. I just work out. But I thought it would it was it would be interesting just to share with you guys how your motivations changed throughout a year. Um, I'm not trying to get my body healthy to have a baby anymore, but I want to help other people who may want to improve their fertility, or I want to help other people who are emotional and having struggling to find that motivation to lose weight. Even if it's not to have a baby, even if it's not to be there for the kids that you have, or if you don't have kids and don't want kids, do it for yourself. Do it for yourself because when you see what you can accomplish when you put your mind to it, it is out of this world. All right, I'm going to end this video short. I will be doing what I eat in a day tomorrow. Not just so that you guys can see what I'm eating so that I can get back on track because I have been doing a tad bit of emotional eating and it's not just because we've decided that we're not going to continue our journey to have more kids, but because, you know, my daughter's been sick and I've been all over the place with her and it's just been tough. It's been a rough weekend. So I am getting back on track and I'm holding myself accountable. All right, guys, as always, peace out.